celebrity bike vlogger no ito rin to sa mga most requested na parang collaboration with yes. rangers no? and, and ano yung route na to yes uh, and the route so first time namin magmomoa first time namin mag ride with him makakasama natin si Kuya Kim yes! right there <laughs> Ay, excited na kami sa mga trivia ano niya baka mamaya baka mamaya may mga pa Q&A siya yes. yung <laughs> Hindi ka nag-research. <laughs> Ito ang first official break-in ng ating bike. Kasi wow. nag-ride kami kahapon before the bike fit. Kapag bike fit ako kahapon, this is the first yes. day. So first time din ni Alan na gagamit ng aero bars. Yes! Oo nga pala. Nakapagpalagay na ako ng aero bars. Uy! Ang CRZ! Guys! Nandiyan yung CRZ nag-ride. Oo nga. na sila oh. Grabe guys! Nagugulat kami ni Alan kasi Tuesday today, weekday. Pero napakaraming bikers. So paano pa pag weekend, diba? Oh Parang short lang yung route nila dito. Kasi, nakita oh, namin parang si RJ. Ilang beses ko na nakita. <laughs> ilang ikot sila. <laughs> 10 minutes ago, nakatap lang yun. Oo nga. Time check at 6.17 in the morning. Yeah. 7 a.m. ating uh, meet up with Kuya, Kuya Kim. <laughs> so, diretso. <laughs> Sakit kasi para, <laughs> para mag-bet. Para maubos yung buko. <laughs> Inihira eh. No? finding Nemo dito. Hinahanap ko naman sila, Lloyd, para may kasabay ako. Ah, bago tayo pumunta, mag field trip muna tayo. <laughs> ah, nasa na ba kasi? Ang bahala na kayo. Alis na ako. Dito tayo sa city. Ang sarap tayo ng BSP. At kami ay naiwan. At ang BSP. Wow! Alis na Manila na ako! <laughs> Welcome to CCP! <laughs> CCP! <laughs> Ano, habang naghihintay tayo na. Shoutout sa uh, City Loopers, City Team Loopers. Bida Bida, Team San Vicente, Team Budol Vitargo, si Clis Tampedista mga nauna ng Budol sa akin, sa Timberland, Team Lopez, <laughs> at Team Cruise Control. Yes! yes. Daily, syempre! Daily! Daily ka, daily ka pa, Jack! Proud to be runners! Yes. Basic! <laughs> Is your time and attention? Won't you give some of it to me? I've been lonely lately. I've been feeling neglected. And I want you to show me. Can we get back on the same page? Tonight, can we stay? And why don't you? Guys, the test na rin ng ating bike sa mga lubak. 
Ano dun o? Thank you! So, yes, we're meeting Kuya Kim for the first time. Namit mo na ba si Kuya Kim? Kanina. Ah, namit mo na siya. Naligaw kami! Oh my God! Kuya Kim! Hello po! Nice to meet you po! Oh man! Di ko alam eh. I'm sorry. Naligaw. Hello po! Dahil kompleto na tayo at sarado ang Cafe Adriatico, dadali ko kayo sa pinakamasarap na shawarma sa buong universe. Shawarma Snack Center. Let's go there now. Saan ko yan? Saan ko yan? Ayan. Siyempre guys, naalala niya si Miss Ruth. Nakasama natin siya ng Silex na hindi na natin sasabihin ko ano nangyari noong time na yun. Hindi maganda yung nangyari. Pero meron silang YouTube channel. Siyempre yung Team Bida Bida. Team Bida Bida. Kung meron kayong time, pwede tayo subscribe guys. Thank you guys. Ruth, barber naman sa loho. Dami. Ang mahal niya na. Bilang kita, bilang kita. Ay, dami. Ang daming ginto. Ang babaik lang, daming ginto. Wala man akong dalang pera, mukhang magliliput sa atin si Kuya Kuya pa rin. May kaso kanina kausap ko siya, wala rin doon siya dalang pera. Oh, this is the Shawarma Snack Center. So, ito yung sinasabi ni Kuya Kim na pinakamasarap na Shawarma in town. Let's see, let's see. Thank you. Ito ba agad? Ito ba yung ginawa natin? Ito ba bumagal tayo? Ito ba yung ginawa natin? Thank you! Ayan, nilipo na tayo ni Kuya Kim ng... Meron silang basmati rice na, parating na. We're gonna be starting up with. There you go. Okay, okay. So today is the uh, reveal of the ultimate uh, time trial bike. We're gonna try to figure it out if it's gonna work out. Uh, she's decided to be serious. A little bit serious uh, after experiencing what CRZ community is all about. So now she's ready to get into. Time trial mode, yeah? Yay, Time trial mode. Hop in, hop in, hop in. Hold on to the hoods. Perfect. Okay, start pedaling. Okay, so one of the things that you can see from this, from this angle, that, okay? One of the things that you can see is that her seat pose is too low. But for other people, this would have been perfect, okay? The reason why we say it's so low is that we're gonna start activating her hamstrings. And at this point, with this kind of a position, she's never gonna be able to activate her hamstrings. Straighten your elbow. Perfect. Okay. So 
if you notice now, her leg length has uh, straightened up. This one, this uh, strategy would make her hamstrings better, okay? So, uh, this is how we do the bike fitting, biomechanical tuning. We just want to make it uh, fun and easy. Everyone's in the farm at the moment. Taking beer. Some of the other guys at the back are still having their breakfast. Very nice. Okay. Okay, now, Alu, just like so. Bend your elbow 90 degrees with your... Yeah, there you go. Just hold it, okay? Don't do anything crazy. Be stable. Don't move around. Perfect, perfect, perfect. A little bit more. Okay, your hamstrings are still too low, okay? So what we're gonna do, stop pedaling, stand up. We've uh, adjusted uh, her saddle. The reason why we need to adjust her saddle is that instead of just using her, uh, her quads, we're gonna be using her bigger muscle group uh, because the idea is that when she gets into a uh, time trial uh, training program, She's gonna be using her bigger muscle group so that she can just do a slow RPM kind of a, a riding style. Uh, one of the advantages for this one is that it lowers your heart rate, so your breathing becomes more controlled, but uh, you'll be able to ride at around 35 to 40 kilometers per hour. Start pedaling. Easy, okay? No, uh, that's good lighting. Perfect lighting. Perfect lighting. Oh, yeah. Can we do it off at the appropriate time? Yes, yes. Okay, now I'm gonna start adjusting your saddle just a little bit to the forward. Down. So, uh, straighten your elbows. There you go. Don't twist around, okay? So the key is you cannot twist around like this, okay? Never. This one should be locked, okay? Same with this one. The forward. Gorgeous, 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 okay? Okay, now you're using your hamstrings. Now, Alo, can you do the attack position when you just want to make the surface area smaller? Yeah, 90 degree elbow. Perfect. Okay, just hold it. Don't be in a hurry. Do you know how to shift the smaller left? Yep, one more. One more. Perfect, that's it. Just hold it. Don't rock around, okay? Excellent. Excellent. Here, it's like you're trying to really squeeze your armpits, okay? So, the smaller your surface area, the better, okay? So, this is what the wind sees now on the quarter view, okay? You have to squeeze those elbows together as long as you can, and then the frontal view, this is what the wind sees, okay? And this is what this is exactly the position that Paco hates, okay? Because you can't draft behind Alu anymore. Rock solid shoulder, okay? And this is what the wind sees, okay? And then on the top view, curved back, rolling like a ball. Excellent work. So because now the power really comes from her upper back. This is a huge muscle, bigger than the quad muscle, okay? That's a quad muscle. Okay, so that was the bike fit. As simple as that, yes. right? <laughs> now, get off the bike. We're now going to put your aero bars in, okay? So next step is to develop this bike into a multi-purpose practical bike that you can also use for time trials. Okay. We're going to be installing these the aero bars. We recommend it's called a J-Bend or S-Bend or however you want to talk about it because the idea is when you get into an aero bar position, if this is straight, you end up being like this. And this puts a lot of stress on your wrist. If it's a J-Bend, then it's more neutral, okay? It's exactly how you would be holding your foot. So same. What do we look for in an aero bar position? Number one is the wrist. Wrist, okay? Can, can you just put your wrist in? We just want to see. Perfect, okay. Anyway, so this is what we're look, trying to look for. Is that this should be aligned to your shoulder. Okay? Okay, 
Okay, hop in. So, initial test. Let's just see how you would look like. Very nice. Hold on to the hoods. Straighten your elbow. Oh. Okay, good. The reason why I want you to straighten your elbows is just to relax your triceps, okay? Oh, macaroni! Oh, you feel tighter, right? You feel tighter over here. This, okay? Oh man, you look super. Damn! Okay. Okay, we're gonna go to the quarter view. Scrape, lift up, push down. Try to lift the arrow bars towards you. When I say lift, you see this portion over here? You try to lift it towards your face, okay? There you go. Like this, okay? And then at the same time, you know your sternum? There you go. Okay. Start pedaling now. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Faster. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Yeah, that's it. Five. Four. Three. Two. How do you recover? Slide back on the saddle. Slide back. Slide back your hands. No, 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 no. Just stay on the arrow bar. There you go. Just slide them back, okay? Excellent work. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Those hands over there, okay? You notice now from the pads to here, the sizing was predetermined already. So before we even bought Alu, this arrow bars, it was already predetermined. That's the curve. This is the reason why we need the S bar, okay? Perfect. This is your recovery, yeah? You're just recovering right now. Okay, set, go. Put your head down. Come on, perfect. Push down, lift up, faster. 10, squeeze those chests together. Five, four, three, two, done. Okay, officially a monster, done. Okay, come here, come here, come here. So, Alu, sorry, I can't stay another five hours. Oh, you gotta do another it's one. It's okay. We can it's do okay? It. Okay, we're gonna do another one. But anyway, part of uh, Alu's program is that she's gonna be doing time trial test tomorrow or on the weekend. Okay, so we're gonna record that. Okay, done. Hey guys, so I'm back. So, since Aira nag upload siya ng vlog na meron tayong bagong bike and yes it's true meron na tayong bike ito kakatapos lang namin mag 100 km ride kanina yep let's do this bike check so this is my first time nagagawa ng bike check sa channel ko kasi hindi ko na bike check yung there and everything and nakita nyo rin sa vlog ni coach or and me na binike fit din tayo after natin na ride so basic bike check tayo before we start since this is my first time nga, kaya bear with me guys. Madali lang naman siguro kasi lahat nito ay stock pa ng Specialized. First of all, this is Specialized um, specialized Tarmac SL7. Ayan. So, alam nyo na guys na this is a sponsored bike. Kaya sobra sobra thankful and um, thankful ako sa nagbigay ng bike na to. Sobra, sobra talaga. Hindi <laughs> ko na in-expect, hindi ko in-expect parang the next day, wow, I have a bike. <laughs> so thankful. Yun nga, sabi ko ka kanina, this is a specialized Tarmac SL7. Hindi um, ko alam yung kulay niya pero parang siyang green. Na ano ba ang color nito? Rasa. Minsan nagbo-blue siya eh. Yes, blue ganyan. Okay. This is size 49. So size 49 is para sa akin naman daw since I'm 54. So, yun. Um uh, integrated yung stem niya. Ayun. Ayun lang. Then the handlebar. Wow! Wow, akala ko naman. This is a group set, no? Group set ba? Yes, group set. Oh, so ang ano natin, it's ra. <laughs> so Yes. So, tapos ano siya eh? Uh, pedals is look. Uh, pedals is look. Kaya so nagbalita rin ako ng look na cleats. This is a... Ito, basta battery operated na siya eh. E-tap? E-tap ba tawag? E-tap SRAM. Uh, E-tap SRAM. So, chino-charge so, mo siya? Chino-charge ko siya. Kaya hindi ko lang alam kung every when ko siya chino-charge. Siguro kapag hindi na ako makapag-shift ng gear. <laughs> yun na yun. <laughs> Pero huwag mo namang hintayin na. Huwag <laughs> naman gano'n, di ba? So, Guys, kung tatanungin nyo kung anong difference ng battery operated sa Shimano na manual manual mo. Ito kasi actually nung nung, nung ginagamit ko to na nagulat ako kasi no, para ita-tap mo lang siya like yun tap yun. hold tapos bababa siya bababa siya and then this one is pa up naman. Then you both uh, tap this para sa big sa harap. Big and small. Okay. This is so nice and super thank you. So eh wow guys kung nilaloko na naglalakad na lang tayo dito. <laughs> Basta chine-charge siya para iPad, oh, gano'n. Oo, gano'n. <laughs> iPad talaga. Ang size nito is 48.35. 48.35, and then this one is 36.10, 12 feet. 10.36, 12 feet speed niya. 
Medyo yan ang kada na. Sa bahay, ako lang yung naka-disc break. Ayan. Advantage mo yan. Kaya kailangan mong i-overtake na kami. Ang sarap pag ipadjack niya. Disc break. So, first time namin sa bahay na meron kami disc break. Hindi ko alam ha. Paano ba? Yung pag nagbabreak ka? Mas parang, syempre compared to rim break, mas maganda si disc break lalo na pag pababa. Di ba? Parang sigurado ka sa mga breaks mo. Wala nang hindi na hindi na mapupudpud yung... Yes, sabi kasi, problem sa rim break, ayan, napupudpud yung wheel set, sabi nila. Kasi nihipit niya, di ba? And compared sa rim break, pag pababa, guys, medyo alanganin pa, di ba? Yung hindi ka pa makabreak ng sobra. So, ingat talaga. So, dito, mas masarap bumaba sa ahon kasi nakadisbreak ka. Pag si Papa kasi, kung yun, mga pababa, ayaw niya na. Kasi nga napupudpud nga daw yung We'll say, sayang naman, ganyan. We're done, guys, with the frame, the group set. The saddle is, of course, siyempre, specialized body geometry power. Steel rails. So, the wheel set is DT Swiss. Um, ano ba tawag dyan? DT Swiss. Yun na yun. Turbo Pro. Turbo Pro. Krypton. Yep. Compound. I'm not sure, guys, kung anong klaseng bike to ride. Or something. Road. Road. It's like a road. So, the advantage of it is in the flats and especially in Akiatan. We can overtake it. That's it, guys. So, yeah, that's it. In short, stock is all stock. So, if you can see it on the internet with the specialized tarmac, this is all of that. I don't know what the color is. Comment down below, guys. What's the color? Here it's green. So, here it's blue. Diba? Parang siyang Blue Marlin daw. Oo, sabi ni Tommy. Shout out, Tommy. So, yan. Guys, ito lang talaga yung nilagay ko sa... sa bike. Additional. Para lang, diba? So, guys, that's it. Na-share ko na yung bike fitting, bike check, first ride, and all, and everything. And thank you so much, guys, for watching. And if you guys have any suggestions, content, ganyan, Please do comment down below para pwede natin gawin, okay? See ya and thank you!